So earlier today, Arsenal thumped AFC Bournemouth 4-0 away from home. And here are my full-time thoughts. As you might have seen at the end of my last video, I genuinely thought this was going to be quite a tough test for Arsenal. Uh, maybe I was being a little bit too pessimistic there, but nevertheless, it was a really good win and a really good performance by the Gunners today. Obviously, before the match, it was quite heavily rumoured that the likes of uh, William Saliba, Bukayo Saka, Declan Rice and Fabio Vieira would not feature due to injury. However, all four of those players did in fact feature throughout the game, with three of them starting and Vieira coming on off the bench in the latter stages. Bukayo Saka opened the scoring for Arsenal in the 17th minute. He was in the right place at the right time to tap home his fifth goal of the season after Gabriel Jesus' initial header clattered off the crossbar into his path. However, his excellent performance was overshadowed by his injury in the 76th minute, which unfortunately did look quite serious as he was forced off the pitch. In my opinion, it is such an avoidable injury for Arsenal and I'm really struggling to wrap my head around the fact that Mikel Arteta kept Saka on the pitch for so long when he's only just come back from an injury. Especially with players such as Emil Smith-Rowe and Reese Nelson to come on off the bench, there was really no need to play Saka any longer than an hour. In the 60th minute of this match, Arsenal were already 3-0 up, the job was done, so just take Saka off. There's absolutely no reason to risk him any further. Moving on to Arsenal's next two goals and the Gunners had two penalties on either side of half time. For me there's absolutely no controversy, um, Bournemouth can't really complain too much, they were both stonewall penalties. It was brilliant to see Kai Havertz step up and take one of the penalties and score it. Hopefully that will give him a much needed confidence boost and he can now kick on for the rest of the season. Martin Erdegaard of course tucked away Arsenal's first penalty to make it 2-0 to the Gunners. He's another player who had a great game today and also got the assist for Arsenal's fourth. He put in a beautiful ball from a long free kick which Ben White got on the end of with a looping header which went over Neto and into the back of the net in the dying embers of the match to put the icing on the cake for Arsenal. And to round off a great day at the office for Arsenal, looking at the other results in the Premier League, Manchester City have of course fallen to a 2-1 loss to Wolverhampton Wanderers on the road, which now leaves Arsenal just one point behind the league leaders. It will be a quick turnaround for Mikel Arteta as Arsenal are back in action on Tuesday when they travel to France in the Champions League where they take on RC Lens. I think that could be a really tricky game for Arsenal, especially when you take into consideration that it will be the French club's first home game in the Champions League for 20 years, so the atmosphere inside that stadium is going to be absolutely electric. Anyway, that's been it for my full-time thoughts. AFC Bournemouth nil, Arsenal 4. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and any constructive feedback is always welcome. Make sure to check back on my channel for my reaction to the game against RC Lens in midweek.